How's it have Kirk back? Good. He's doing really well um, in our voluntary scrimmages, and uh, you know, it's, it's good to have two left-handers, um, three left-handers in a weekend rotation. So it's good to see that they're healthy, PD and Kirk. So they're doing well. How's the whole rotation feel then? Got a lot of good chemistry. Um, we're very cohesive as a unit, pitching staff. Um, you know, in our drills and all our pre-work, post-work, um, when we're throwing, we're very good at getting our point across when we need to talk to each other, call each other out. Um, you know, the group this year is very, like I said, cohesive. It's got to be nice to come back. You don't have to worry about pitch limits, rehab, and coming back from injury. Yeah, yeah, and this year is, a, is now my job to help Kirk through that. Um, Mentality-wise, I was just never where I was last year, never, not where I am today. And uh, Kirk's showing a little bit of signs of that um, in terms of mentality, but uh, that's my role as a veteran on the pitching staff to make sure that he doesn't go through that, um, go through that role. And you know, it's just, just going to be a task that is going to be fluctuating throughout the year, and he's going to be on some days, and then some days he's not going to be on, and I've got to be ready for when he's not on and be able to communicate with him, like, hey, let's get back to where you need to be. Did you have someone like that help you last year, or do you think that hurts you not having someone like that? Uh, no, I mean, I had Jack Carricker in the back of my ear um, getting getting me going, um, but it just it just never finally got through until where it is now. Um, you know, my mentality, I took, I took the summer off, uh, took three months off, and resorted everything out and now today I'm just a I'm a better ball player I can I can mentally get through pretty much anything now if your rotation can stay healthy how, how does that compare to last year and maybe even any other years you've been here in terms of how effective you guys can be well we are healthy and we're going to be healthy um, you know the thing is this year is uh, unlike any other year that I've been here um, and even seen years before that um, you know we got a weekend rotation that is incredible uh, our, our back of our bullpen is equally as sharp and electric. Um, you know, yeah, we don't have Clevenger and Sherfy and those guys, but Nogo, Styles, um, possibly Carriker in the back of the back end of the bullpen are gonna be doing just as good a job as uh, those guys did. You've maybe been as vocal as anyone over the years about getting to Omaha and, and feeling like you guys can do it. How much stronger is that inside of you right now going into this year? Well, we are going to Omaha this year. I wanna make that statement clear. We are going to Omaha and uh, it's on the pitching staff this year and we have the pitching staff to do it. Uh, we're not looking into anything that the media is talking about or anything like that. We're focusing on what we need to do out here and do our job. And uh, the biggest statement we're making this year as a team, as a collective, as a unit, is we are going to Omaha. You guys have three lefties. Are you guys worried about teams stacking against you on, on weekends? No, I mean, they got to hit us. Uh, we got three different types of left-handed pitching. Uh, Crook with the electric stuff, uh, controls. He, he'll get back to his control, uh, controlled self. Um, Peterson, electric stuff with command, and then for me, I got I got good stuff <laughs> with 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 more command. So I think three different left-handers in a weekend is really hard to prepare for, and uh, we're excited to just get the ball rolling and play San Diego State the first opening weekend. What have you been working on this offseason? Uh, a lot of change of down and in to left-handed hitters, uh, fastballs inside, and just finishing hitters. Last, you know, my my bugaboo uh, over my career is not being able to finish hitters. And we're going to be able. I'm going to be able to do that this year with the help of Kirk and Peterson in my ear, helping me, you know, in certain situations, uh, you know, what they're going to throw um, to help me out and just get guys out. What's been like with Mitch? You know, new pitching coach, new strategy going in the season. Uh, Carricker, he's been great. Uh, coach Carricker, he's been awesome for us. Um, he's actually transition been very easy because um, he's he was around Coach Styles a lot and. I gotta be careful with the first names because I call them by first names. So, Coach Coach Carricker, Coach Styles, and they were they work together. So there hasn't been really any relapse from that. Um, it's been pretty straightforward, and we're we're just hitting the ball and moving forward. And we're excited. We're just really excited. We're itching and talking to PD at a breakfast today. We we're just like, come on, let's get to season. Three weeks away. It's just getting. We're getting really anxious. With Crook maybe still working back a little bit, do you plan on being the Friday night guy? Uh, roles haven't been established yet. Um, we'll wait to hear from you know our coaching and staff um, to see where, where where we end up. So no idea, no expectations. Doesn't matter what day we throw on. We're gonna get we're gonna get our W's and we're gonna go to Omaha.
Is there more competition with the, between you three now? I mean, the past few years it's been pretty kind of obvious who's going to be number one, who's number two, but now this year it's like... Honestly, it's, we've actually all talked about that. And this, it, yeah, we are competitive with each other, but I think it's important to say that we're competitive in the right aspects, certainly competitive in the right way where we're helping each other get better. And, uh, you know, we don't care what day we're throwing. We would just want to help the team get a W. Where's your below at compared to coming into last season? Um, I'm 92, 93, occasional 94. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm just feeling my best over break. I hit a 95 once, actually more than a couple times. And, uh, you know, feeling really good. Health, the healthiest I've been all year or all my career. The decision to come back, did part of it have to do with what you saw in the potential of this team and the fact that you plan to get to Omaha? Yeah, definitely. Um, and also the fact that I'm graduating this quarter. Um, you know, I wanted my degree more than I wanted to sign at, at that particular point. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. This team is looking fantastic. and. Nothing better to celebrate in Omaha with these guys. From your perspective, how do the bats look right now? Bats are solid. Um, I don't think I've faced a solid crew of hitters um, since I've been here in the fall and winter. And uh, I think up and down, it's, it's hard to say who's going to be our starting lineup. That's how well our hitters been doing in the fall. You're talking a bit about uh, health. Uh, what do you do after a game to, to heal up? After a game, it's a lot of, uh, I do, I actually run full stadiums here <laughs> at Austin, um, but also I do a lot of uh, shoulder care, shoulder work, um, and internal, external rotation, and um, that just keeps me healthy throughout the year. Any specific thing you do when you do that shoulder work? or You know, it's just isolating the shoulder, isolating the left hand, you know, the upper shoulder, um, elbow as well. I mean, there isn't, there's just so many exercises that I, I try to mix it up quite often just so I'm not in the an affluent routine. The rotation you guys have is the mindset sort of the offense can get us two or three runs a night. We can win a lot of games two to one or three to two if we have to. Yeah, funny you mentioned that because Petey and I said the exact same thing at breakfast. I mean, two, three runs is all we're going to need this year because we have the best pitching staff in the country. And uh, we're going to make a statement, you know, first game of the year with that. And, um, you know, our hitters know it. So, so the, the pressure's off them. Uh, pressure's on on Crook and I and, and Petey on Sunday. and. You know, we'll, f we'll figure it out. I don't know what our rotation is going to be. And, um, but, yeah, the hitters have, uh, I guess, less pressure than they've had in years past. you got a team goal of going to Omaha. Personal goals for you this season. What, what are you trying to do? How are you going to make the scouts notice? Uh, I don't care about the scouts this year. Last year, that was my, my, my problem was uh, focus on the scouts, focus on my draft. And that's a selfish thing to think about this year. Uh, my focus is... Uh, making sure our team goes to Omaha and we're doing it together. Uh, no I guys this year, uh, and that's myself included. Um, we're a group, we're a team, and uh, that's that's going to be our statement. I made it. I made it earlier, and we're going to Omaha. That's going to happen.